Hello everybody, this is Keith from the Georgetown County School District and today I'm going to show you how to use a pretty cool tool called Photo Scissors. And so if I'm looking for an image, I'm going to use an image that I have found on the internet perhaps. And um, let's just say I'm going to use uh, one of these images down here. I've, I've chosen this one. The best way to do that is to do a snippet of it or make a screenshot of it. Um, and I'm going to say, I'm going to call, call this one, and I'm going to, let's see if I can do a better job of that one, because I want to get that picture without that thing at the bottom. There we go. So I'm going to do the snip, and I'm going to get a new snip, and pull all this over, and I'm going to choose this little girl to add into the picture, even though she may or may not be a part of this family. We're going to do that. So I'm going to do file. I'm going to call this one. I'm going to save this one as AAA Beach. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. All right, save. All right, so I've got a picture saved that I want to use. And now I'm going to go to Photo Scissors. And Photo Scissors is a free online tool. So it's photoscissors.com. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this picture that's a JPEG picture that I saved. I'm going to pull it and drag it over and upload that image. And when I upload that image, it pulls it in and it pulls everything out of the foreground that we think would be a great uh, thing to, for us to keep. And if you want to get rid of something that's in that, in that foreground, like for example, this little girl, we're going to say that she's not even a part of this family. So I'm going to go up here into the tools. I'm going to click on the erase tool while it is in the mode of in that color of green. And I'm going to just swipe through and take all of those. And if you'll watch the picture on the right, now she disappears. Okay, so that's uh, the way you do foot scissors. Now you can actually make your swatch or your um, your little cursor, the ball that you're going to be the select tool. You can make that go out all the way. But if I want to come back, if I want to click into here and I want to add that little girl back, I could do this. And it will add her back. It's just that now I've got to go in and make a little bit better deal with taking the uh, some of the background out of there. So I'm going to go back. I'm just going to do an undo on that one. And I'm going to crop this. And if I want to save this picture, then I could do a download right here. And the other thing that you can do is you can make a background that's transparent like it is now. You could put a solid color in there. So I could go in here and choose a color and hit the enter and it'll put a different color in there. If I want to, I'm going to back up off of that. You could even put an image in behind there. So if I wanted to put an image in and I had an image on my desktop that I had already saved. Let's see if I can find the one that I had saved a moment ago called Mountain Backdrop and put that in. So now all of a sudden the people are no longer on the beach but they're in the field of a mountain scene so that's just one of the ways you can use photo scissors so i'm going to go back now and i'm going to add uh, another image i'm going to go back to my photo scissor page right here and go back and do another photo scissor here i'm gonna get rid of this one i actually i'm telling what i'm gonna do i'm gonna download this one and when i download it and go to my downloads and show the downloads in the folder, you'll see that picture right there. Okay, so I'm gonna X out of that one and I'm gonna go back up. Those are the ones that I've done in the last little bit. I'm gonna go back up and I'll grab another one. Sometimes it will just take the image out and be just exactly the way you want it to be as is the example here. So if I just wanted to just the flowers and the lily pad or the leaf that it's on and not all of this, it's already exactly where I want it. I can do a download and then I grab that off my download, show my folder. It's in the downloads and I can take that and put it anywhere I want to or I can actually put an image behind it like we did just a moment ago. So photo scissors are a pretty cool tool to use if you want to crop some images out of the backgrounds and use them in other places or just use them without all the background if you want to put them into a Google slide or a PowerPoint or etc. Hope this has been fun for you and hope you can use it.